welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to explain you the chill water pipe sizing with the manual charts so you can see this is one of the carrier manual charts okay so this is uh, taken from the carrier okay and this is called uh, friction loss for closed piping system okay so from this chart using this chart we will uh, calculate the chill water pipe sizing okay so let us start now before i start this video i'd like to request you all guys if you are still not subscribe my channel please do subscribing and hit the bell icon as well so that whenever i upload any video i will get the you will get the notification of that video so let us start now as you can see for the roof piping so let us start with uh, this example so example one is the pipe sizing we have to calculate from A to B from here to this point to this point which is uh, roof piping so here A to B the tonnage is 600 so GPM, GPM is, is equal to as you know the GPM one ton is equal to 2.4 GPM so tonnage is 600 into 2.4 so you will get 1440 GPM and the velocity recommended velocity for the roof piping is uh, 10 feet per second so we have to calculate the hf1 which is nothing but the friction loss one using this chart from using these two value the gpm and uh, velocity flow rate and velocity so you can see in this chart the flow rate and the y-axis is given here the flow in gpm so let me open one here let me take the line okay so let me select the line here and the gpm is 1440 so you can 1440 so here is 1500 so it will come approximate here okay like this. so this is one line let me make it uh, a little bit thicker okay so it will be visible okay this one okay so this is one line I have uh, drawn at 1440 GPM. Next is your velocity. So velocity is 10 feet per second. So let us, uh, this line which is inclined is the velocity in feet per second. So our velocity is 10 feet. So let us draw one more line parallel to this line. So here is uh, 3 feet, 4 feet here is, this is the 10 feet line so let let us draw one line parallel to this line like this okay and draw one more line which is which coincide these two lines so let me take one line and now i am going to draw with red color just to show you So let us draw one line here which uh, coincide these two lines so let me draw one line like this okay go up to this axis like this okay so this is the one line let me continue up to here okay so if you see this x axis the friction loss in feet per water feet uh, feet of water per 100 feet so this you can see this is 3 and this is 4 so which is coming here 3 point 
approximate uh, 3.9 okay 3.8 Four and five, so between three, three and the, between three and four, the line is two point five three. Okay, so here is you can say three point zero nine. So you can see here three point five approximate here three point five then the center three point six three point three point eight. So you can go to here three point this line is coincide okay so this one and let me draw one here so this is the point where these three uh, three lines are coincide and if you can see here in this axis which is uh, here the friction loss uh, friction loss in feet of water per 100 feet so which I got here 3.8 you can say so here you can change 3.8 feet per 100 feet and the pipe size uh, sorry for 3.8 and pipe size is 8 inch not 10 inch actually here I made make it wrong no no it's correct you can see the pipe size is this line this line is called pipe size you can see here the pipe size okay so this point is near to this uh, this line let me draw one more line here okay this one so this line is for the pipe size which is 8 inch and this point is near to this line so you have to consider the nearest point so the pipe size is 8 inch here next for riser piping c to d next riser piping b to c okay so this is uh, your riser piping which is called from here b to c in this point B to C the GPM is 840 so go to this chart and just uh, move this line to 840 here GPM is 840 and velocity is 7 feet so this is your velocity line let me delete this okay so this is your velocity so move move here seven feet like this okay and move this line now this is okay and 840 this is 840 and velocity is this is velocity line velocity is 7 feet okay so this line you have to move here both line will coincide so this is your friction loss like this this point okay, so you can see here exactly it is coincide at 2 feet per feet of water feet at 2 feet of water per 100 feet so your friction loss is here in this case 2 feet per okay 2 feet per 100 feet and the pipe size is 8 inch for this one also the pipe size is this point is near to this 8 feet 8 inch pipe size so the pipe size is 8 inch okay so it's correct now for the point uh, for the riser piping c to d so from this example this c to d okay so in this point which is riser so the velocity is 7 feet for the riser piping and the gpm is 360 so for 360 you have to move this line here okay 
360 and uh, velocity is 7 feet per second so these lines will coincide here okay this is 6 and 7 so again it will be 2 feet and uh, pipe size is 8 inch again so you here you can see c to d the velocity is 2 uh, friction loss is 2 okay and pipe size is 6 8 inch now d to e so d to e is the floor piping so from this example d to e which is floor piping and in this case for the floor piping the recommended velocity is 5 feet and gpm is 360 so you have to move this line here 360 this is your gpm you have to move down here 360 okay and the velocity is 5 feet per second so you can move this as well here okay and both line will coincide here okay so it is approximate 1.9 the friction loss which is called 1.8 here approximate 1.9 feet okay 1.9 feet per hundred feet and pipe size is you have to look uh, the coincide this coincide is this is 4 inch and this is 5 inch so 5 inch is not available so we have to go for the higher value so higher higher pipe size is 6 inch so here is 6 inch so this is how we are calculating the pipe sizing uh, using this uh, friction loss uh, closed piping chart so i hope you guys learn from something from this video so please be uh, please do subscribing and hit the bell icon as well so thank you for watching my video thank you bye bye in the next video i will explain you the pipe sizing using a pipe sizer which is more accurate than this uh, chart so please be with me and uh, keep watching my full video. So thank you for watching my video. Thank you. Bye-bye.